Okay, so you are going to hear my baby girl in the background. She's watching Power Rangers, and my uh, older kids are at volleyball practice. My eight-year-old and six-year-old are with their dad at the gym. So I'm going to take advantage of only having one child today. So I have this beauty, and this is packed to the brim. This is my Never Full GM in the, obviously, the Damier Bean. And I got this lottery charm, which I am loving. I bought another one too. I am totally addicted to these now. They are just so cute. I love, love, love the sound that they make and just the little pop of color, um, the pink against the Damier Bean. So I have other videos where I show you, I had my monogram and the old version. Obviously this is the newer style. And I'm not gonna do like a thorough background on it. Everybody has tons of videos um, on this bag. I love it. I cannot believe I waited this long to get the Damier Bean. I had the Speedy B35 in Damier Bean as my first bag. Loved the print, but I kind of fell out of love with it because of the size and it being a Speedy B. I know that's crazy, but for some reason, the Speedy B didn't work for me in that big of a size. So I'm actually going to be ordering a Speedy B Damia Bean 25. Um, and I'm going to get that soon for my anniversary present. I also just um, bought, and I'm waiting for it to come in, a Damia Azure with the Rose Ballerine, which I never in a million years thought I would do. I'm not a pink loving girl, but lately I've become one of them. Oh man, it's crazy. But anyways, I just wanted to show you some of the things I'm carrying in this. I am going to switch over and put, I have not used this bag in quite a long time. I got my Damia Bean around Christmas and have been using her nearly nonstop, either her or the reverse uh, Pochette Matisse, which you see a video on, on, um, on uh, my channel. The other bag I've been using a lot of is the Aina uh, MM, and I love them both, um, or all three of them. So, you know, I have had, it was my Christmas present, my birthday present, my anniversary present, all kind of got these different bags. Um, and now I'm getting two more bags, and that will be it for me for a while. I'm obviously in big trouble. Um, but... I love this bag and I haven't used her in a while and I just saw a video of somebody with a um, this style and it had like a horse, it was black and it had a gold horse here and I thought, oh my God, that's beautiful. And um, it made me just wanna bring this girl out. So I'm gonna switch my contents over from this bag and I thought while I'm doing that, uh, I'm not gonna be able to put it in here because I don't have a camera holding thing but I thought I would just kind of show you what I have in this big bag okay so here is my laptop this is the old one it's the 13 inch uh, MacBook Pro and I this I get this from work and I actually it had broken and I was kind of hoping they wouldn't be able to fix it so that I could get the newer MacBook but actually I'm happy that didn't happen because the newer MacBook does not have uh, the ability to, yeah, I'm not very tech savvy, so I don't know what you call it. On the side, let me see, put this down. On the side of the MacBook, it has the ability here, right, to put in different cords. And my understanding is on the newer version, it does not have that. So I actually like having this, and a lot of people complain about the new ones. So there you go, just a little tech information for you. Then I have a grade book because I do use this as my work bag and I also use it as a regular bag. So I'll take out my work items in the car or at home and then just carry this as a regular bag. Um, although I did order the MM size and I actually am really looking forward to that. This GM is amazing. I've been a GM girl. My monogram was in GM. I recently sold that because it needed work on the top and I'm just too lazy to go and figure out how much that is and didn't know if it was worth putting it in. So anyways, I've sold her, she's going to a new home and I love the GM, but 
there are times when I just want kind of a, a tote like the Longchamp, when I just want something. Now, this is a medium, but I have a large Nao, which is where all of the handles and the flap are the same color. The regular one would um, have brown, right? And then this would be a color. So I have the Nao uh, black and this navy Nao medium. And the black one I also have a video on, and it's large. And I love the size. I love, love, love that size. So I ordered an MM Damia Azor with the Rose Ballerine. Totally excited to get that MM. And when I do get it, I'll do a comparison for you, although there's a million of those videos. But it might just give you an idea of what fits in it, which I wish there were more. I, I didn't find as many Damia Azor what's in my bag or what fits in my bag. MM... Um, Rose Ballerine as I would like. I searched and maybe I'm just typing in the wrong thing. But anyway, so this is my grade book for school. This is my laptop. I love this thing. I got it on Amazon. It's amazing. Let me see what else is in here. I have the pouch that comes from the Neverfull, which surprisingly I love so much. So I use this like everybody else says, you know, I pack it with my basics and then when I want to run into a store and I don't want to bring my big ass tote, I just take this out and I'm good because in here I have, um, I have this, uh, uh card holder, which is perfect, right? So it fits in this little pocket here and ex that's why I know exactly where it is in this big bag. I don't have to search for it. And then when I need to, I can just take this out and go. Then I have receipts in here. I have my favorite markers. I've told you about these. I'm a planner girl. So I have these from Amazon. You can look them up. They are awesome. They are just great. They're fine tips. So they're point, there it is, point three eight, which I think is perfect. So then I have receipts and my... Uh, what do you call it? Checkbook is in there and just some other planner stuff like I love these. I've shown these to you in a different video. They are um, sticky tabs, right, for my planner. And so I love this item so much. I don't know why people give it up. So then I have my, which I don't like just having them thrown in here. I recently got these. These are the Beats in Rose Gold. I've quickly become a rose gold uh, pink fan, which is weird, but I have. And these are, you know, they have the cable. I thought about getting the, um, what do you call them, the wireless ones, but for the price, eh, I just didn't really feel like an investing in them, maybe another time. And then I said this on my reverse pochette video. I love this. This is, I'm trying to see if I can get a better, there we go. This I got on Amazon. And let's see if we can see the name here. It's a little, there we go. It's a little light. I'm sorry. I can, if you want, I can try and remember to link this. But I got this on Amazon for $19. And it's awesome because you can, you know, plug in for your 7 Plus here. Um, and then if you have a regular cord, you can plug in here. So because this has a regular, right, I plug it in here. So it kind of is a twofer because I need to have you know, um, what do you call them? The adapter. So this gives us like, acts like as an extra adapter when I need it, but then I can also charge and listen to my headphones at the same time. So I love this thing. It was 20 bucks. That's the cheapest. I found one of these that does both of these things. Normally they're $40 and up. So that was on Amazon. Okay. What else? So I have my, I've, Talked, shown this to you in other videos. This is from Inkwell Press, and I use this, so I author a Texas politics book. So I use this for my lecture, but mostly I use this for my notes for the textbook and things that I want to rewrite or things that I am uh, researching. So I love that because it's slim. Yeah. My other new love is this guy. This is the Passion Planner, which I've talked about in my videos. I do need to give a giveaway. I have a large size uh, Passion Planner in black, which is called the Classic. These planners are amazing. So this is rose gold. I mean, it is such a beautiful color. I don't know that it's doing it justice. Look at all the detail on this. It is just so beautiful. I had a purple one, uh, but... I really didn't fall in love with that lavender as much as I am in love with this color. 
And then this one, as compared to my lavender one, is undated. And I really like that, you know, because I just like being able, you know, I didn't feel the whole thing out. I've gone pretty far into it, but I haven't filled it all out because there is going to be times, particularly during the summer, I'm not going to be quite as busy since I teach online classes. And so I can leave this blank and kind of fill it in as I need to. I also love that all of the months are up here at the front and then in the middle, you're going to have, that's my baby off to the side. And she's kind of um, decided she's going to come next to us and go to the restroom. So sorry, that's just real life. Um, then I love that, you know, it has the, the month set up, or excuse me, the week set up, you know, this way you fill in the date. I've shown this before. Okay. Uh, and it just works. It works so well. I did not think this size was going to work for me. This is the compact size. So it's, you know, a, about the size of a book, but it does work. It still has plenty of room. It has times all the way till 1030. And so it goes by 30 minute increments, but you can choose to ignore this. And sometimes I do, sometimes I just make lists or whatever I have to, particularly on the weekend when some things are not planned as much. So I'm really loving this. Okay. Let's see what else. Uh, then I have, this is an old pochette from a bucket bag. I love this thing because it, you know, I don't have to worry about it. Now this is from the honest company. It's my favorite. I've heard other people talk about it and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. I understand now why they like it. The spray makes things easier. Then in here, I just have some random goodies, some more Honest product, organic healing balm. This stuff is great. Uh, I have some boogie wipes. I have uh, an extra cord, just some, you know, odds and ends. Okay, so that's kind of like a, a junk drawer. What else do I have in here? Um, I have, this houses my cord for my Apple. Um, and I loved this. Again, I bought this on Amazon and it's awesome because it's really thick material. You get these two items for, I think it was like 17, $16. And they're very thick. And so you get a case for your cord and then this really kind of thick, squeezy case. Squeezy, is that a word? Well, we're gonna pretend it is. Uh, for your laptop. So I love that. Now this, this is going to be the controversial piece of it all. I am doing research into, um, I don't know how to, uh, replicas. Okay. And I got this piece because I wanted to see what the situation was. I've been watching replica videos. I'm really blown away by replicas. And I am a mother of four. I don't have tons of money. I'm an educator, so is my husband. Um, I know there's a lot of controversy about replicas too. So it's, it's a scary situation. I bought this to see what it was like, to see what the hype was about, and to get some ideas of behind the scene things for a number of reasons. I'm thinking, I don't want to give too much away. It's, it's professional stuff. It's hard to explain. Um, but you know, this is a, a piece that I could not see myself. I can't buy something like this right now. I love, uh, the mini pochette. I've never had one. This is the one that I have had that I bought pre-loved and I bought it and got a really good deal because you can see the zippers all wonky. And it doesn't bother me because it's just, you know, a bag where I throw junk in. So this, you know, because it was a, you know, in real life, a limited edition piece, it would be way over my budget. Okay. The actual without this, I think they cost what, like 250, which I, I think is still worth it, but I don't know if it's worth it for what it does. I think that it depends. Look, if you have money, then go for it. I don't with four children. So for what I use this for, it works. You know, I got a good deal on it. It's just a catch all. I have my um, Dior lip gloss. I love, I've fallen in love with Dior lippies. Let's see. Sorry, that's my little one. She's reading. She's fake reading. What is this? I think this is 536. I cannot read it. It's the sticker came off on the bottom. So it's really hard to read. I have that one. I also have, this one's my favorite. 
This one is seven fifty six. See if you can see that. Yeah. And the color is gorgeous. I feel like you just cannot go wrong with these. They are so beautiful on the lip. This one is a little more nude. This one's a little more shiny and the color is pretty true. It's like a, an apricot peachy color. What else do I have in here? I have my medicines. I have, what do I have in here? I have some eye drops. I have a Purell from Chick-fil-A. Um, what are these? Oh, these are some samples that I got uh, from the store. This is a wet wipe of Kleenex. Um, two wet wipes. And I got those as samples, and I thought, well, I'm going to try those because I have kiddos. This I can use to clean my sunglasses or my computer. I have my scent bird, which actually is empty. And what I do is I figured out a way. I have a full thing of Gucci Premier. And I used to love this scent, but now I'm really into the Hermes, uh, the Twilly de Hermes. That's a beautiful scent. And I'm able to refill from my big bottle and put it into here, which is really nice so that I could just take this and travel with me. What else do I have in here? I have some Zyrtec. I have a coupon for, um, for boogie wipes. I love boogie wipes. Those are so helpful for little ones. I have a, a gum, what do you call this? What is this called? A floss. I have another, you can look inside this. This is actually, you know, I think very similar to what it would look like in an actual legit mini pochette. The, this is off a little, it's not as shiny. Like if you look at, I don't know, I think you can tell this is more shiny, the authentic. This is a little more matte, but it's really not that bad. You know, the only thing that's really, really bad is the hardware. This is way, way too shiny. It gives it away. It's too gold compared to the matte of uh, my authentic. But again, it's for what I use it for, which is just throwing in odds and ends. It does its job. This is some caffeine pills, which I rarely use. It's more in there for emergency. Um, and then I have a, a hair tie. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Tell me what you think. Um, because of buying this piece and trying it out, I do love it. I like it so cute. So I am really thinking about getting an authentic. Um, I've only bought a replica piece in the past uh, two other times before this to try out whether I would like it. And then I sold them. And of course, I always told people what it was. And, you know, I bought them kind of cheap. It was more to see, okay, does the style work for me? Does the size work for me? Because I don't have the ability to get to a Louis Vuitton um, or some of these stores. I just don't. So this was something that I was able to try. I like it. I think I will get an actual one. I'm just still debating on the price for what it is. But it is cute, isn't she? Okay, what else? Then we have my, um, you've seen this a million times, this is my PM cosmetic pouch, and it has, you know, I've started to get really into, um, what do you call it, uh, makeup, and I'm actually going to do a thing where I talk about some makeup that I found, stop baby, some makeup that I found that as, you know, as a person coming back to makeup in my early, you know, I'm 41, what's worked for me like oh my god this this i love this is hardiest uh tart it's a lip it's a liner not lip it's an eyeliner and it's got two ends uh it's smudging on me but anyways i love it it is to die for like i will definitely buy that again i got this on mercari it's a it's dior it's got um some blush and some Highlighter, I'll show you these pieces. I'm gonna do a video of some of the things I'm loving that I bought, uh, and I'll go into depth. I've got a pair of my Sunnies uh, from Key. These are the Desi Perkins in the pink. I have this that I got from a Facebook group using authentic um, LV. They made this card case, and this is what I carry my... Um, my what do you call time. them business cards in it's specky time. specky time sorry that's my baby uh then i have specky my keys time. this is a four key ring ring four key 
Uh, and man, I've used this to death, dude. This has really, I cannot believe. I think for how much I've used it, and I did buy it pre-loved, that I cannot believe how it stood up so well. You know, there's some fraying on the edges, but still the piece does what it, it's supposed to, which is I don't want my sharp keys dangling around in my purse and it could cut it, it could make marks. I don't want that. So this is an awesome piece. I'm thinking about getting the six ring just because it can hold cards in the middle. Okay, what else? I've told you this a million times that I carry this with me. It's a rosary my grandfather gave me, and he's been recently very sick, and so let me put this down. So this has been really important to me to carry because uh, he's been really ill. So I have his rosary in there. I have the keys for my Aina. I have a little heart that my, that pink little thing is a, a little um, plastic heart my daughter gave me when I was in the ICU a couple of years ago for pneumonia. So this is kind of like my lucky pouch, you know, with my rosary. My, my, my Aina keys just fit in there well. So it's like, whatever. It, it, it's a great pouch for extras. I also got this from a, my Facebook group using authentic again it's a let me open it here it's um a little uh it's got a mirror at the top and then you can put a lip gloss in there and i have the only problem with it it doesn't fit a very big lip gloss so like my mark jacob sample i love this i bought this at i got this at sephora years ago for my birthday you know with purchase and i loved it so much i found one on Macari and I bought it again. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. It's a beautiful color. Let me see if I can, ooh, I'm making a mess. Let's see if I can show this to you. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Look at how pretty that is. And it's a perfect size to like keep for traveling. Um, and with the top, which I just fell on the floor, it fits perfectly in here. So usually I do keep that in here. I also, when I get little samples of perfume, uh, which is how I tried out the Hermes de Twilly, I use this as well. I put the samples in here so that they don't spill all over my bag. So this is a cute little item I got years ago from my Facebook page along with uh, this. Okay, what else? Um, some trash. What is this? Oh yeah, this is another thing to clean my glasses or my laptop. Then I have my key clay hanging here over the side, and this I just have like rewards cards, extra cards, this thing. I also got pre-loved, and it has just been beaten up. But man, she's still going strong. She's beautiful. I have no problems with her at all. I mean, yeah, look, this is not as shiny. The LV is kind of, but other than that, who cares? The canvas is amazing. The canvas of old pieces is to die for. In this pocket here, I have, I cannot find my case for my key um, black fades. Let's see what else do I have in this side pocket. This is where I'm supposed to be keeping my beats, and I like it. It's nice and rubbery, and it's really soft, so I keep that. I have my round coin purse that's in the, it's not a canvas, it's a soft, like, cotton. I, I don't remember the name of this. It comes in, like, a grayish blue. It comes in this red, and I can't remember the other color. And I bought this pre-loved from one of my sellers that I, my Japanese sellers, that I bought many things from uh, over the years that are pre-loved and uh, I've had them authenticated and they are legit. Um, and so I trust them. I put my extra pair of um, earbuds in here and also I have the extra, I forget what this is called for the iPhone 7 Plus. So I keep that in there so that it's easy for me to find. Also within that side pocket of the Neverfull, I have my gum, which that's not my favorite, but it works. And I also have in the side pocket this, um, I need to find a new phone case. I want to put this on. It's a pop socket from Hello Kitty. And then this thing you can put like in your car or whatever um, to hold your phone when you have the pop socket on. Okay. So that is it. This is all the things that I had in my bag and I'm gonna put most of it, will fit in there except for my laptop. I will not be able to get this laptop with the case. Just the laptop, I probably could, but the case fattens it up. And then look, I dropped some stuff here 
uh, that I need to pick up that I had in uh, this little guy. So I think this is gonna be the controversy of this video. Look, you do you, I don't think that anybody has a right to tell me what I am buying. I've said this when I bought that dupe for the Kelly, which was a no brand that I found at like a, uh, um, not a consignment shop, but a, I forgot what it was called, but it's like a garage, a state sale, sorry. Um, which I sold and I loved that bag to see whether I should buy the Teddy Blake and I decided not to, it just wasn't practical for me. I also have had a Teddy Blake Katie bag or caddy bag, 14 inch, that's a dupe for an Hermes uh, Birkin. Now those are different from this because those other bags didn't have the brand on and weren't trying to be you know, a replica. They were, I would say inspired by or dupes because they didn't have any name brand. This is another level because obviously it is a replica, but it doesn't matter. I'm just saying in the end of the day, people have their opinion. There are lots of women on YouTube that have lots of money to buy everything Louis. All these little items that I have bought uh, over the years, it's taken me a long time to get them. I've had, you know, I, it took me years before I got uh, a Louis bag. I mean, so I'm just saying, don't judge me. Um, I have four kids. I'm, t I'm a teacher. I don't judge you. I expect not to be judged. Just be open-minded. I'm telling you what's going on. I don't know what else I'm going to do. I will keep uh, you informed if I find that the people who are following me are open to that. So we shall see. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm so excited to have new subscribers. I'm so thankful. If there's anything you saw here that you want me to do a video on that I didn't get to cover, let me know. Like I said, I do want to do a video on some of my favorite products that I found as far as cosmetics. I'm also a big fan of Audible, and I wanted to tell you some amazing books that I found that I've been reading that I think you will love. Also, some products in terms of... Um, you know, like things for planners. So just kind of odds and end things that I wanted to go over like a favorites uh, video. Tell me if you're interested in that. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. I'm a tiny YouTuber and any kind of help, I would really sincerely appreciate it. Have a great week. Bye-bye.